Hello, everyone. This is DAV National Commander Butch Wooden. I am joined here today by Department of Virginia's Adjutant Bob Cox and Benefits Protection Team Leader Tom Wendell. I am so proud to present you to DAV's Outstanding Performance and Advocacy, or OPA, award for 2019-2020 for Division I. In addition to that, Tom, I'm pleased to recognize you as a top performing benefits protection team leader. When it comes to the grassroots advocacy, Bob and Tom are the kind of people you want working with you to advance your goals. In addition to all the legwork planning events, engaging with lawmakers, organizing with your members here in Virginia and keeping them engaged, you have a track record of tenaciously pursuing legislation. Just one example, an idea to exempt 100% permanent and total disabled veterans from vehicle tax in Virginia actually originated from Chapter 10. It went on to become a Chapter 10's resolution and then a DV Department of Virginia's legislation initiative that made its way onto the ballot this past November and passed with 85% of the vote. It really goes to show what a single idea can do in the right hands. So we'll begin with Bob. Thanks for your leadership and all your diligent work on behalf of veterans. What are your thoughts on receiving this award? Thanks, Butch. And it's an honor to receive this award for the second year in a row. Um, it's been a, a team effort for the department working with Tom um, to make legislation a primary issue. Um, the uh, vehicle tax exempt is a prime example. That was verbalized to chapter 10 by a chapter member. It became a chapter resolution. Uh, the chapter moved it on to the department. It became a department resolution that was passed and then sent on to, in the Commonwealth, the Joint Legislative uh, Committee. Uh, it took a couple of years because we, we didn't have buy-in from all our legislators. And so you had to use the grassroots uh, effort to get your membership to, to make calls to their representatives. Um, before we got the final buy-in. And as you said, it was uh, passed 85% uh, and it was const uh, an amendment to the constitution. Uh, so we're proud that that happened and, and shows the teamwork uh, that the Commonwealth of Virginia uh, members uh, work together. Thanks so much, Bob. Tom, you've really been so engaged in supporting veterans advocacy efforts over the years. What are, your most proud, what are you most proud of and how are you feeling re receiving this award? Thank you, Commander. In reference to receiving this award, it's uh, very humbling to receive this award, especially for the second year, because when I look at it, it's a total team effort. I'm just a vessel that's being used to get the word out to our members. It's our members that are joining the Commander's Action Network and jumping in there and doing the things that I'm asking them to do and you know when you look at some of the things that passed this year you look at the three new presumptive conditions with the uh, Defense Authorization Act and then you look at the omnibus bill these are things that have been on DAB's critical policy goals for the last few years so to get this through the Congress this year was an awesome feat. And I really want to thank all of our members for all of their efforts, contacting their congressmen and their senators in reference to getting these bills done. Now, in reference to, you know, the, what am I really proud of? I believe the bill that you talked about that we got through the state, that's probably the thing I'm most proud of because of the effort it took for the department, for our members, for members of chapter 10. We really worked hard to get this through because this was a constitutional amendment. So this had to pass two years in a row. And the first year, it actually wasn't going to pass. It was actually, the vote was gonna be a negative vote from what we heard. So we jumped out there, we got our grassroots, we got we sent out a giant email blast to all of our members to contact their congressmen and their uh, representatives. And, you know, we got that turned around and the vote passed. And then, you know, we had to turn around the second year and do it all over again. And basically at that point, we had multiple um, new representatives at that point. So we had to educate them all over again. So 
to get that passed this past year was an outstanding feat for us. And we really hope that this helps the disabled veterans and the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you, Commander. Excellent. Well done to the entire department and everyone who has been involved in advocating for veterans, both there in Virginia and across the entire nation. Congratulations again to you both and keep up the great work.